Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and wanted to know the best way to trace it. Well, first of all, it doesn't trace very well. I would suggest finding a larger one, larger file. But this thing uh, does, it does okay, but it's, you know, it's got some parts of the file that are at the top. And you can see it's got some extra stuff and you'd have to clean it up. This type of stuff to me is fun to draw. And if you just kind of think about some things, uh, the heart is a heart. You know, that's under your basic tools, common shapes on some versions. You know, just go to the heart, uh, possibly hold down your control button. And then this is the spade and it's a heart upside down with a stand on it. So, and this, I just did a video the other day about making balloons and you could kind of do that. Um, what most people would probably have troubles with is this one, the diamond. And that, to me, doesn't look like a traditional diamond, but I'm going to go with it. I am going to take the polygon tool. I'm going to use a four-sided polygon. And I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to make a perfect square, basically, with a... Uh, on a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna delete those two nodes. I am gonna select it, I'm gonna turn it into a curve. And then I'm gonna just bring in about the middle and voila, you've got that diamond shape. Now the stand, uh, another good example is to take a rectangle tool about the size of the our square there or make that the square, we could actually go and turn that into a curve. And a couple ways you could do this, you could measure that might even be the best way. You know, from there to there is 0.27. So we're gonna take our nudge factor and set it on. We have to click off the clip art, 0.27. We're going to take our shape tool and we're going to nudge that guy over with the right arrow key, 0.27. We're going to take this one and nudge it over, 0.27. Then just select it all, right click, turn it into a curve and grab. We're a little bit off on the picture, but you get the idea. Grab about in the middle and just bring this in. Now, whenever you do two items like this, you want it perfect. You want it equal. So I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's move our clip bar out of the way. And the way to make it perfect is to check it with the mirror tool. Control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it. So we're not perfect. But if we take the, well, we don't even have to do that. We could just take the smart fill tool, fill that in. And now we have a perfect equal on both sides. And here's our heart that we drew. So let's take this, left click, right click, and take our heart, make a duplicate of that heart so you can keep it as a heart, mirror the heart the other way, and put it on the stand. And then just take the weld tool and weld it together. Sometimes I always think it's easier to draw something than try to fix the shape. The other is a balloon. Um, you know that, well, let's just do it real quick. I normally try to keep my videos short, but let's just take the rectangle tool, holding down the control button to make a perfect rectangle, go to object, convert it to a curve, <clears throat> turn it on a 45 degree angle and then take your shape tool and delete these three nodes. There's our balloon shape. Now, this is a little bit wider, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, it's your version, but we could do a couple of things. Let's go to uh, Control D and make a duplicate. Move the center of the rotation to that point. Rotate it to zero, because we're already at, well, we have to go to 90. Well, see, there's a good, this is a good example. We rotate this 45 degrees already. So let's take the shape, the smart fill tool and fill that in. 
And now when we left click, right click, we're back to zero. So for that one's 45, this one's at zero. Make a duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees. I made a mistake, back up. When you rotate it, rotate it on that node, rotate it to 90 degrees. Now there's a couple things you could do easily. You could make another duplicate and, and rotate it a negative 90, but you could control D and make it, we don't really need that, control D and make a duplicate and holding down the control button, just move it over. Now, like I said, this looks more rounded, but it's your, your graphic, which if you want to make it look a little bit real, let's, let's nudge this in 0.27. Let's nudge this one in 0.27. Let's nudge that one in 0.27. Now let's see what it looks like when we weld it. Not bad. You could play with that quite a bit. We could take our smart fill tool and fill that in to get a new one of these. Now we're quite a bit bigger and I'm not real happy with that. Uh, it would work, but let's left click, right click. Doesn't matter what color it is right now. And we're just, yeah, I'm not very happy with that, but you get the idea. You could play around with that, grab all that and weld it. And there's your club shape. It's quite a bit different than that. So you could play around with that, but you get the idea. You know, this one in the stand are probably the main ones that should give you a little bit of difficulty, but it's really easy. Hope that helped them and thank